Pisces, welcome to To Our Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your weekly general reading for the week of August 5th to the 12th, 2018. Those of you that have recently subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I truly appreciate you guys so much more than you know. So for your reading, I'm using the Gilded. And I'll also be pulling you a Oracle card, Gateway Oracle cards by Denise Lynn amazing deck. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Suns. And as always, Aries, just keep in mind if the reading does not resonate for you, please watch your moon, your rising signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook. Facebook Live every Monday for those of you that are interested in that. Instagram for your dailies per element. Instant go. If we would like a quick question answered, links to everything that you guys need are below the video in the description box. Aries, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, August 5th, August 12th, 2018 for Aries. Essential issue, Six of Pentacles. Nice, it's that giving and receiving, generous energy. Your foundation, the Two of Pentacles. Could be dropping something. Okay, recent past, King of Cups reversed, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, the Moon reversed. Definitely water energy here. And the Star, sign of Aquarius. Okay, some of you literally ended it with a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That is in the reverse, emotionally manipulative. They definitely don't have their shit together. This could be a family member or just someone that you're involved with, a co-worker. It could be anybody. And I really feel with the Two of Pentacles reversed that they are... A little bit emotionally unbalanced. I, I'm going to be honest. I feel emotionally a little bit disturbed for sure. But the good news is this person is going to receive some healing. Definitely. You're going to heal from them. You could be ending it with the water sign Scorpio Cancer Pisces and starting something new with an Aquarius. This is your hopes, your wishes coming true. But with the moon being reversed, you're missing something. This Scorpio is definitely an emotional manipulator. And I feel like you should be very cautious around this man. Because I do feel like you might not have been aware that this man is a little off. But the good thing is... You're leaving this person behind, you know, because you're balanced. You're balanced financially. You're fine because you dumped some weight. This person was probably also a financial drain on you. And now you could heal, grow. No matter what happens, you know, these really are two beautiful cards. Even though the moon is reversed. You know, they, they, you know, the star and the moon, you have to get your emotions in check. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius with maybe water in their chart, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's clarify though, starting with... This King of Cups reversed. Okay, what do we got? Oh my God, the Queen. 
Queen of Wands reversed. All right, we have this water sign. Emotionally out of control. And then you get the Queen of Wands reversed as a clarifier. This, listen, I'm, very, I'm serious. This is someone that has lost their shit. They have lost it. It could be someone that has been bothering you. That is bothering you. I, I really think this person's lost it. But for others of you, it could be someone that has been bothering you. And for some of you, it's career. And it's like after you didn't see something coming, like you might have a surprise coming your way. It could be coming from a water sign. Or an Aquarius. The surprise isn't bad. If it is a deception, it's, it is it is for a good reason. Let me look at the star. Right, I definitely want this here. And I want to look at your moon. Oh my God. Well, I said you didn't see it coming, but you definitely might. Like, this is amazing. This is a combination that you very rarely see, Aries. Very rarely. Like, this is amazing. Like, this is healing emotionally, emotionally in a good place. You're getting your wishes granted. You've probably even had some dreams about this. Probably your dreams weren't coming true because you had nasty energy draining you. And, and this, uh, this is negative self-talk. This is naysaying. Other people bringing you down. But the good news is that shit's amazing. Because you're listening to your intuition. And you're getting your hopes and wishes. Guidance for Aries. Show guidance clarification. Okay, definitely that Wow. You can't even make this shit up. Trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. And you know what? You are using your intuition. It tells me here. And this is being spiritually and divinely guided. Big time. Your intuition, your dreams are absolutely speaking to you. You know, because now you have the knowledge I know they don't, there's no keys shown here, but you have whatever you need to unlock whatever this moon energy is for you too. Like you just, you're, you're moving towards your wishes and your dreams. It's beautiful. It really is. I couldn't even, I can't even tell you Aries the last time I've seen, I saw this combination together. Some of you might need to get your emotions in check. If, you know, especially if maybe you've been the one that lost your shit, but if you have water in your chart, but other than that, keep your emotions in check, stay positive. There's just so much growth, healing, and you're moving on. You're moving on, moving forward. I love it. All right, Aries. 
I hope the reading helps you guys out. If it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Absolutely love you guys. See you back here soon. Take care.